Ooh, well, it does look cool. Haha. <laughs> a little bit of lot here. Yeah, it's a roll, more like. Carnivore Girls Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants. No dairy. The next level cooking show. Carnivore recipes with meat, fish, seafood, eggs, gelatin, flavored seltzer, water and salt. From super easy to complicated. From quickly done to many hours in the kitchen. I always say everybody's body and brain are different and you gotta figure out what works best for you. The carnivore lifestyle has tremendous benefits, healing effects and is the best elimination diet. There are many different ways how to do carnivore. I found a way that momentarily works the best for me. In this cooking show, I'll show you it doesn't have to be boring and can be very creative, delicious and fun. I already created so many carnivore recipes on Instagram, at Carnivore Girl. And I have this never-ending list on my phone with tons of ideas. My brain is a gift and a curse. Have fun with this episode! Hello and welcome in my creative carnivore kitchen. So today we're gonna do something more complicated. Or, well, it takes a bit longer, maybe it's a bit more complicated. Well, let's just get started. So, I, uh, quite a while ago, I froze chicken skins. I think those are thighs. And I thought there were like two in it, but there are four. I don't think I'm gonna use four. I think I'm only gonna use two. Anyways, we're gonna get dirty today. So jewelry has to go. Or this one here has to get back. So, and we're ready. Uh, 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 where to start? So our shrimp are still frozen. Uh, mine are, maybe yours not. So let's start with the shrimp doesn't matter that they are so frozen. I'm just gonna... Oops. Over here, you can actually see. So, with the shrimp, nothing special. I just wanna cook them. So... gonna leave them in here not too hot I'm just gonna keep an eye on it in the meantime we should start with the eggs I would say I'm only gonna prepare one A little bit of salt. Oh, where are you? Here. Look. And here I want to make an omelette. A thin omelette. use one egg over here my other pan it's a non-stick skillet so I don't need to put any uh, fat in it I could if I want I don't want to it's also not handy right now it's like middle heat so. this is a quite small pan I have here I'm just gonna sit and turn over these. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna wait with the, I don't know how many skins I'm gonna fill. So, um, for sure one, <laughs> maybe two, but I, I, I don't think I'm gonna do more than two. So let me see. Uh, yeah, let's just use these two. I'm gonna put those back in the fridge. Them. Here, I also have some wings. Wings Wednesday for another recipe. Maybe I'll make something similar with the other two another time. So I'm going to crank up that omelette pan a little bit. Okay. I need to figure out. Hmm. Uh, kind of figuring out yeah I think we will do so we actually gonna make sausage carnivore sausage yes let's go back to our two pans starting to turn color and I can shell so of course then we want to um, use the shelled shrimp don't throw away the shells best uh, shrimp broth ever then for, with soup for soups and stuff okay that is actually good starting to be good. Uh, I turned off the heat and I'm just leaving that here. And these I keep, ugh, come on, oh, keep shelling these. So, ugh. and then the shrimp we wanna puree. I could have done that beforehand, before I started filming. Well, now you gotta watch me shelling shrimps. Of course, you can also just wait until they're done and um, then you can uh, let them cool down a little bit and then you can uh, shell them. I don't want to wait and I, I usually do that like this oh okay now they they are getting warm here and I gotta hurry shell those Ugh. come on there's more shell on so uh. Um, how many should, well, you can count them now. I, I don't know, I just, ooh, that was stupid. Um, I just took out, honestly, the rest I had in that package, so. Okay, when they get hot, I take them out. Ooh. Actually, do I need to? I'm, I'm like thinking, could I have used them raw? No, I don't want to use them raw. I'm going to use them pre-cooked. So. And I'm not flipping my omelet because I like it when it's still sticky here. Usually I even, this time I uh, made it as a, let it, yeah, it's not, it's totally, yeah, here maybe a little bit still raw, but usually I still even leave it a bit raw on this side. Because then also when you fill it, the ingredients um, stick very nicely. So we're going to just turn that over here. Okay. Now, of course, I thought I prepared everything, 
but apparently I didn't. So I'm gonna get something really quickly. What I'm doing, try to plug this in. Okay, uh, I'm like thinking now we could also just blend it with the uh, hand blender, but uh, I don't know. Oh, there's a lot of juice. Mm. Okay, that's enough. If they're not totally, totally um cooked through that wouldn't matter because i get cooked again but i already okay i brought this over so let's try this here with our put all of them in here i hope i don't have any shell peel left I would say shell, but I think you, you guys call it peel. Because in German it's schale, so it's shell, basically. Well, not muscles shell, but like a shell around you. Uh, 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 like a crab shell. Yeah, that's a shell, right? You don't say crab peel. <laughs> okay. I usually just uh, push pulls and like, that's like, it's, it doesn't stay, you see? But so I just keep, um, I hold that one. No, oh, it's already done. I, I always think sooner or later that one will stop working. And I just saw some shell peel. Uh, stop working because I use it so much of course for meat and it's not a meat grinder there piece of oh well if there's some uh, peel grinded up in it I don't care okay oh now I feel like we don't have enough for two we only have enough for one. Oh yeah we will see ah, not much from those shrimp. I also learned that there's no plural of shrimp. It is shrimp. It's like fish. Fish and fish. Yeah, it's weird when it's a, here it is. Put it back so it's not in my way. Um yeah, so it's not shrimps. Uh uh I always use that shrimp, shrimps. No, it's just shrimp. Doesn't matter how many there are. They don't care. Okay, now I can actually start. Mm. I want to get the nice one here. Uh, you know me, salt. Well, shrimp are pretty salty, so I, I barely put any on it. There is enough for two. Okay, it is. So. Ooh, I think it could be enough for two. Maybe the second one won't get as much. So, yeah, let's go for two or one and a half <laughs> now we can't really make one and a half let's let's make a nice one here so okay that's our first layer and now oh you probably saw that beautiful oh, i love country style rip and country style rip i it's like ribs, you have to slow cook ribs and, and barbecue and stuff. Uh-uh, not country style ribs. I barely uh, eat 
con I, I don't eat country style ribs um, well done as a like slow cooked and that. Uh -uh. I eat them half raw because they're so good. Okay, uh, I tried to figure out. So I basically. frozen inside what I actually like because I hope when I uh, cook that sausage when it's done that this one will still stay pretty pretty uh, raw rare whatever here our omelette our rib this time I need salt sure 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 did I put salt in the egg? I think. No? I don't remember. Oh, I like salt. Salt on the rib. So, gonna roll that up. Pretty, pretty. Yeah, I knew it's gonna be too. <laughs> oh. And now we wanna roll this up in the chicken skin. Like thinking, or should I, you know, maybe, what do you think? Should I, the, the short, maybe the short part first, right? So we can end pretty. Yeah, I think that's better. Oh my gosh, it's not how I imagined it. It will, because I, I thought those, honestly, I thought those skins were still like attached like this. So I could just stuff it. I've done that before, that's really cool. But we work with what we have. I'm like thinking, should I cut it? You know, that it's just one layer. Now nah, we're just gonna do that. And actually I wanted to bind it like, a, as, okay, now it's not gonna be a sausage. It's gonna be a roll or whatever. Um, no, I think yeah, you stay closed, right? Don't open up. Oop, sorry. Oh. Where are I? Got them. I think we can just secure it with a toothpick. So we don't have to use the, um, yeah, it's hard. It's, uh, the chicken skin is hard to get through, but once you're through, you're through. <laughs> oh, really? I'm so smart. What the holy fucking shit? It's YouTube, can you? Oh my gosh, now I'm, I'm ripping the skin or what? Okay, so. And I'm ripping this. Oh, today is just. I know I made one hole. You are really... Okay, here's one hole. Here's another hole. But now I have to get through. Also that one here. Oh man, I had one. And then I just... of peel okay now we're not going to use this stupid toothpick. Ooh. Just a, oh not this I'm sorry but I just remembered something I hope I find it So, 
I didn't want to go through the omelet that just damaged it whatever okay here is one okay while I'm making the second one I'm, I'm gonna fry this already uh, I, I wasn't actually thinking that oh my gosh where's my oh should we fry it in here no you know what can I put this in the ninja foodie yeah why not we're gonna put it in the ninja no I don't wanna Fresh pan. Gonna heat it up. I already put like the skin part. Oh, we need more salt on the skin. Put the skin part on it already. So we get some, how do you say, fat. Okay, do we have enough for a second one? Oh, space. Last time I, this time I put salt in it, a tiny bit. I don't know if it looked it last time. Oop. Running on the pan over here. I think you can see the pan here. Okay, now, what are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, I would say I have it on really high heat right now. So yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna um, um, fry it all over. Oh my gosh, I don't know if this really comes out very well, what I'm doing here. Here, second one, rest of our uh, shrimp. Yeah, I don't have as much here as I suspected, but that's okay. Probably gonna do it a little bit differently here. So I'm just gonna put shrimp here that one we roll over yeah I think that's good or should we like a bigger one let's cut maybe a little bit of a bigger one uh, it's kind of thin Right, a little bit bigger. Don't forget to turn that one. Oh, kind of sticking to it. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit, so not the highest heat anymore. Oh, that one. Good. Now our omelette is almost done over here. Okay, so this time I actually, yeah. Now I let it go all the way. It's still raw on top. I thought, oh, I could use it like that.
now I was thinking maybe there was way too much omelet in the other one. Maybe I cut this, but now, nah. See, it's still kind of raw in the middle. I actually really like that. Ooh, it's probably not the best. To, ooh, yeah, it's like almost coming out. Here. What I was thinking with that one, I'm not gonna wrap like, just want to close it. Oh, it's just, no, oh, my meat is way too big. This is just not big enough. You want to make it like oh, oh. you are back. Let's see. Actually, it's not what I had in mind. The other thing I had in mind, I will do another time. Okay, this looks much better. So I cut this off. And now I actually do want to bind it. So I'm just going to do a regular, regular how you would bind the rose. first one and then you just yeah, hey, come on. So, just make a loop go under again loop like this can you see this loop so here loop and go under here again loop Enough, we don't have to do it. Well, let's do one more. This looks prettier, I feel. So. <laughs> it's like cutting it off here. Oh, so. so. And well, then you could actually go around. Now you could go around here and then go through all these uh, to the other side. But I don't want to do that for this here. It's like not necessary. So I'm just gonna make a knot here, two knots. It'll be fine. Okay. 
So this is much better. Yeah, I like this better. Okay, so let's fry that one. Not a fan of that one here. Crank it back up again. Turn it way down. I think that one is almost done. Yeah, leave it here. I don't roll it around. Uh -huh. So, and don't worry, all those uh, things gonna get, I'm gonna uh, put it in a pan, fry it a little bit, eat this, or yeah, nothing gets thrown, thrown, thrown away here, of course not. So this one, I'm not that, I only have chicken skin on the outside, so I really just wanna get the chicken skin ready. So, uh, 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 cooked, so maybe medium heat, take that one we can take out, and let's check that one as well, that one is, oh my gosh, okay, it didn't work out the way I wanted, uh, like usual, a lot of times that happens, uh, but uh, because I really thought I had different skin, I thought I had, um, the chicken thigh skin that was like a round, so it was like a pocket. But anyways. So, ew. let's cut it open, let's try it, let's see what we created here. In the meantime, rolling that one around. Medium heat, I say. Ugh, taking that spit out. I hope it's actually the chicken skin is done. You can't see. So let's cut this open. Ooh, well it does look cool. Haha. <laughs> a little bit a lot here. Yeah, it's a roll more like. I just hope is the chicken skin done in there? I guess. Oh, it's hot. Here's just the omelette with the meat. I'm trying to put food and meat on it, but it's kind of hard. So. Well, this I'm sure is, is good. This is just omelette and... Ooh, that actually looks... Ooh, that looks really good. Looks still very juicy. Huh. Mmm, mmm, yeah. Now we want to try with the chicken skin. Mmm, it looks pretty. Look, no. Still came out cool. I like them. But I don't like, I, I like the chicken skin just one way. Ooh, ooh, this here. I think we can actually take this out. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want this to be done too much. Uh, 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 off. Okay, let's try this. Country, mm, country style rib wrapped in omelette, wrapped in pureed shrimp, wrapped in chicken skin. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Even crispy there. Mmm, wow. Mmm. <laughs> it's so good. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. It is good. It's not how I wanted it, but hell yeah, it is so good. Let's get another piece. 
It looks really pretty. Ugh, it's falling apart. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Huh. Ooh. Our skin. This is just you. I don't know if you can see it. This is just the omelette. Our skin kind of. Yeah, I forgot that skin. I mean, uh, when you cook it, it, it um, shrinks together. I should have done a layer as a, like a little bit overlap. Oh well, still so looks cool. Let's try this. Let's cut it open. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Then what I usually do is like I cut I cut them in like these pieces here, always in between the string. And then you can uh, and put them nicely, you know, like that together. Okay, if the chicken skin will go all the way around, it would actually hold together. And if it doesn't, you know, then you can place them nicely like this or like that. But don't forget to take this string off before you eat it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. 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 Really good. Really, really good. You know, the other day, not long ago, I actually just did make a carnivore sausage with chicken skin from breast, chicken breast skin. And, but I made it for Instagram because I thought, oh, it's not gonna come out really well for a video. So I just put it on Instagram. It came out so well, it came out so good. I need to look it up, what I did then. And then with the other chicken skins that I still have left over, do it more that way. But it's, it's still really good. Mm. Oh, that's pretty. Look. Totally cool. Look. No. Oh. I'm happy. So I'm gonna eat my rolls, sausage, whatever it is. I'll see you next week. Next episode. Bye. Mm. Thanks for watching. If you try out this recipe, please tag me and let me know how you like it. Subscribe, share, like, comment, follow me on Instagram at Carnivore Girl. See you next week in my next episode of Carnivore Girl's Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants, no dairy, the next level cooking show.